uh, the first thing I would say is if we're going to have like 50 filters on a dashboard, that's not going to work. Um, we need to get way less than that. So like, firstly, let me directly answer the question and then I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about some of the detail around it. So I like to minimize the number of filters on a tab of a dashboard to about three. Uh, five is like pushing it. Five is where it's going to get to the point where it's like, you know, that's a bit too much. Um, and we're going to have to look at a few things. And one of the things you need to look at is have we designed for the right persona? So that's the first thing we need to look at. Are we designing for a use case? Or do we need to design for a specific use case? And or can we break it up by different tabs in our dashboard, right? So can we kind of start, start to split things up a little bit um, and reduce the number of filters we have to have to try and design for like absolutely every situation. So let's look at that in a bit more detail, right? So um, if I was to say, why do you need 50 filters on a tab? The answer might be, well, okay, we're, we're trying to design a sales dashboard um, for everyone in the organization. And you know, people, you have different product owners, you have different people who are like um, interested in different aspects of sales. So let's say maybe marketing is interested. Let's say finance is interested. And of course the sales team are interested, but they all have very different motivations for why they would want to be interested, right? So they look at it in different ways. So there's different things they want to get from that data. And to address that, the typical way that we look at it is, okay, well, they need more filters. So let's say finance might look, want to look at sales data um, and filter it by uh, gross profit, net profit, EBITDA, margins, right? It's the same data, but they need to look at it in a, in a different way that makes sense to them. Marketing might want to look at what sales were marketing influenced by marketing campaigns, right? So they might want to filter by campaign. Um, other people, uh, let's say the sales team, want to filter by product, product category, right? So we end up with having uh, need, needing to have an awful lot of filters. How we need to approach this is we, we, we need to turn the entire process on, on its head. We need to first understand who we're designing for. So the first thing we would look at here is we'd say, okay, we have a finance persona, right? So these are people who want to look at it from a financial perspective, a financial lens, and we would figure out what they need to see and what are the typical filters they would use. So let's say out of the universe of 50 filters, 50 different ways we could slice the sales data, we end up with three for the finance people. And then we go talk to marketing. We figure out, you know, marketing, how do you want to look at it? Well, they want to look at it by, let's say, region. They might want to look at it by um, campaign, right? There's very different ways to finance how they want to look at that data. And so we would then end up designing a dashboard or a tab specifically for that persona so we can minimize the number of filters we're going to have on the page, right? Um, and then we could look at the sales professional. The sales professional might be, okay, uh, yeah, I need to look at it by product product category, and um, maybe they want some sort of regional view as well. Um, certainly, there could be some overlap with some of the other personas. So, you know, they would then get their own subset of filters. So we end up with this greatly reduced uh, number of filters on a tab. The, the downside is we are now designing for several personas, in which case we need either several dashboards right so one dashboard per persona or you could focus on a single tab okay this tab is just for the finance uh, persona right so it could be an overall sales dashboard that is accessed by a finance person marketing person sales person uh, but they have their own specific uh, tab that they would end up going to right so based off their role they would just go into that tab and um, the ideal though the ideal is really to get to a specific dashboard for a specific persona and not just talk about sales data, right? So if it's the finance person, yeah, they want to see sales data, but they've got other things going on in their job, right? They want to look at other stuff. They don't want to just look at sales data. They want to see, okay, well, how's you know the, the overall performance and financial health of the organization? What are our costs? You know, what's, um, you know, any supply chain uh, you know, costs they need to be aware of, things they need to flag, right? So once we start going down this avenue of designing for a specific persona, we need to go all the way, right? Um, you can start 
by splitting it out by tab on some dashboards and start dipping your toes into it, but ult it out, right? So um, just a few things to keep in mind. Um, there was, a, and I do have a follow-up question um, for that is, why, well, why do you need a filter? Okay, so Mark was asking, why do you actually need a filter? And well, you know, Mark, it, it's um, the, usually the challenge here is if we don't have really, really good narrowed focus on our persona, we're ultimately going to need some sort of filtering and some sort of way to slice the data, right? So um, that's just something that we have to keep in mind. And, 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 and invariably, it's going to be hard to get away from it. Right? It's just going to be very hard to get away from that. Um, okay, so um, Mark, I hope that addresses your question. Um, thanks for asking it. Um, we'll drop off now and I'll see you guys next time.